did. Look, look oh, at this. Boy. He just peeked almost as though he wasn't sure whether or not he was going to take it on. He gathered his concentration, mounted his courage, and that shot is the shot of the match thus far. Without question, because just look where he left himself, right on top of the two. Now swing the cue ball back over the right-hand side of the table for the 4-9 combination. And this has to be like a nail through Reyes's coffin. How many players can say they've just outfoxed Reyes? There's no doubt about it that it's Oliver Orton in the Fox's role right now. This 4-9 could have been a lot easier if he left that cue ball in the middle of the table. But what? it's, sorry, Nick, it's very missable from where that white's finished. It is. But if he nails this, I wonder what that will do to the confidence of Reyes. Having passed on that shot and then seeing Ortman come up and nail it. Listen, I'll tell you what. Reyes is already doubting it because Ortman's shown him that he can outmaneuver him. So that bit of doubt, that seed has already been planted. So Reyes sat and suffering, but momentum turns quickly in this match. If Ortman misses this, it'll swing back. So Ortman has done the hard work. Can he finish the job? There's your answer. An awesome display. Oliver Ortman, the 95 world champion, has raced out six in a row, now leading Reyes six racks to four. Oliver Ortman, six, four up against Reyes at the World Trade Center. Let's head back to commentary. Jim Weish, Nick Halling. Oliver Ortman has won the last six racks. And he's on again, but again, that one's caught the jaw. It's an almost identical situation to last time. And he is frustrated. You watch the one here, hits the jaw and heads south, and immediately the push-out has been called for because he can't even get a clean look at it because the blue ball is sat there. I wonder if Efren Reyes will take a little longer look at where Oliver lays the cue ball this time. Guaranteed he's going to be pushing. He can't hit that one. Just dangled some bait in front of Reyes there. Now this fellow needs to find a shot, doesn't he? Six racks in a row. He's just basically sat in his chair and watched Ortman go to work. The full length of the table. Object ball and cue ball on opposite rails. You just knew he was going to take a little more time with this one, Nick. Well, Jim, it's been so long since he's taken a shot. I'm happy Reyes is going to shoot this. I think, I think it's the right decision, even if he leaves it. He's not. He's put Ortman back in. Did he want it and think better of it, or was there a little bit of uh, psychology going on there, I wonder? I think a bit of both. I think he just played a little game of poker with Ortman. He wanted Oliver to think, wonder, and he wanted to put him in his chair for a little while. But also, I think, as you say, I think he wanted it as well, just because he's he's not had a shot to make, but he's thought better of it. I just felt better with Reyes shooting it. I mean, obviously, there's nothing easy about getting this safe. But it's been so long since he's been at the table and struck that white. But if Oliver had a plan, he better come up with the goods right here. The only shot I see is just trying to bank that one, just about a dead on hit, and trying to leave that cue ball in behind the colors. This shot 
is fraught with danger, Nick. I think I'm starting to understand a little more why Reyes refused it, even though he took so long in doing so. Now, where's it all going to end up? And that is disastrous for Oliver Orman. He went for that. Tried to snick that one into the corner pocket. And the time has arrived for the magician. And you don't think we're going to see the measure of the man now? He's been in his chair for six racks. He can come to the table and clear up from here. He'll have answered every critic. And that's not to say that there are any critics with Reyes. Well, it's turning into another one of those matches that we've seen in the sudden death format that players have been on top and utterly dominant, but you try and keep that momentum all the way through the match. It's just not possible. You have to really just go with the ebb and flow of a contest. It was all Reyes, then Ortman could do no wrong. And now, suddenly, Reyes is back with the initiative. He's still got a little housekeeping to do here, though. Just kill the speed of the cue ball. And the big shot now, from the seven to the eight, he's going to have to play this with a lot of speed. And any time you hit a ball as hard as he's going to have to hit this one, the pockets shrink up. What a shot from Reyes there. Wow. <laughs> that one would be on a highlight reel. So Efren Reyes gets himself back into the match on the main number one table. What about the other big name in Filipino pool? Bustamante is up against his compatriot, Manon Manalo, and he is on the edge of elimination. Manalo has already claimed one big name last night in Yang. Is another one about to fall to him? He's 8-5 up. Yes, what a day it would be if both these two Filipino superstars we're sent back. I mean, who would have possibly thought that? Manolo, we know. Tremendous young player. Put Yang out last night, 9-7. A quick look at the rack, and he's going to be breaking for the win there on table two against a man that many thought would go one step further than he did a few years ago when he finished runner-up to Earl Strickland, Francisco Bustamante. A big break here. Bustamante might well be unscrewing his cue. He's on. And that cue ball is going upstairs, top right. It's hung on. <gasps> My goodness me. Well, that's probably the story of that match as far as Francisco is concerned. It's been a game of millimeters. That cue ball could just as e easily have dropped into that corner pocket. And with ball in hand, you would have expected Francisco to get back at the table, clear up, and get to 8-6 breaking in every bit in the match. Look at it. Looks like it's half down that white. You know, when you see these Philippine stars, they're so calm and relaxed at the table. It's like they're born with a cue in their hand. Incredibly confident. And this fellow, Manalo, watching him last night, he, once he'd made an early mistake, and that mistake led to him being 6 2 down, he regrouped so well. He's gone for the tall grass there. Yeah, he's keeping the screws down on Bustamante. He knows he has to. 